Have you ever loved to take out the trash? Not many people do, but imagine if you didn't do it. Same thing goes when it comes to pushing ourselves every day. So today, I want to talk to you about how to push yourself every day out of your comfort zone to get the things that you say that you want to. Many times we don't feel like it. We procrastinate, we get distracted, and then we think, is it really worth it? Hello, I'm Deborah Kozowski, three-time best-selling author, speaker, and executive coach, and the host of the Millionaire Woman Show, where you learn how to leave rich from the inside out through principles of leadership, business, and human potential. I'm so glad you're here. So to push yourself out of your comfort zone, to stay motivated when you don't feel like it, all starts with one thing, action. Action is our key differentiator. By taking an action, it's the first step to moving forward. That starts building a momentum. It's pushing against that gravity, that force that wants to pull ourselves back. Often people, you know, they talk about getting up in the morning. They hit this snooze alarm maybe three, four, five times, and all of a sudden they look at the clock and then they jump out of bed. Imagine if you could set it up for yourself in your mindset where you would jump out of bed a lot sooner to get on and carry on with your day. And, you know, Mel Robbins talks about the five, four, three, two, one the five second rule. Don't allow yourself enough time to really think about it. Because often what happens is people think about all the things that they have going on in their day or something that they do not want to tackle. So they stay there. And sometimes it's just that that bed feels so good. However, you will feel even better when you start accomplishing what you need to accomplish. Some of the other things that you can be doing is look at people who've already done what you have done. Learn from them. See if there's a way to get together with them for coffee. Take them out for a lunch. Ask questions about how they progressed on their journey. There's a difference. People will say, I want to pick their brain. I want to do this. No one wants their brain picked apart. What they want is someone to take interest in how they got to where they've gotten. Because it took work, it took effort to strategically push through some of the struggles of the naysayers, the doubters, maybe lack of resources, and how they figured out to get to where they wanted to be. Learn from these people. Success leaves clues. But we're so busy thinking, oh, I, if I could just be like them and I don't have what it takes and you get caught in a comparison trap, it doesn't serve you. So the best thing to do is learn from others who have done what you want to do. They will share with you. They want to be a part of your journey often to lead to your success. And don't forget, inspire yourself every day. Step out of your comfort zone, put yourself in a new environment, do something different, learn something different, so you might drive home a different way from, from wherever you're on your travels. You might take a painting class. You might go to the gym and take a class that you've never done before. These are all things to stretch you. Maybe you go for a walk after supper and you haven't done that. So all of these things can inspire you by looking at how far you've come to where you are today. Years ago, when I first was introduced to the gym, I couldn't lift even 10 pounds on a leg extension machine. When I was in swimming lessons, they always said, Deb, you have a strong upper body, but your legs need work. And now, I've run up to half marathons. I've done triathlons. I can lift weights in the gym. But I didn't start there. It took progressive time. Think about Michael Phelps, one of the most decorated Olympians. 
he, just like anyone learning how to swim, had to start with getting his face wet, getting his feet in the water, getting used to the water. You don't just start swimming at that level when you jump into the pool. So you have to give yourself time, like building blocks, to really get to where you want to be. But heck, you need to be celebrating yourself and say, wow, I'm pretty amazing. Because when you start doing that and speaking to conviction of who you're going to be and who you're stepping into being, isn't that powerful? The other thing that I want you to do is take on a little bit more than you're used to. Say yes. If someone wants to give you a little bit more responsibility or an opportunity to stretch yourself in your leadership skills or give a presentation or um, taking on a project, do it. Even if you're scared, do it scared. Because with that little bit of fear, what you're going to do is you're going to be very cautious about the details. You're going to want to do really well. And in that process, you're going to ask questions and you're going to really figure out what is going to work, what doesn't work. You can ask those questions, like I said, and you are going to get more competent in that area. Learn more. Instead of listening to music on your drive, why not put in an audio book or listen to a podcast, really stretching yourself, pushing yourself. And if you're stuck, put on that motivational video just to get you moving, just to get your headspace in the right frame of mind to really influence how you're thinking and feeling about where you're going, how your day is going to be. Start with the next hour. It's all about being the best version of yourself on any given day. And you know, we're not perfect. But when we catch ourselves falling into a space that we don't want to be in, all we can do is reset, reframe, and proceed. Really getting to always focus on being our best. So that didn't work. The next hour, you break it down into smaller increments. So this hour, I'm going to really focus on giving my best. If that's how small you need to break it. Because as you keep focusing on being your best, what's going to happen is, is it's going to develop habits of success. And people are like, oh, that word success. It has many definitions. What is your definition of success? I want you to think about that before you start cringing or thinking that it's not possible for you. Because remember, whatever you focus on becomes your reality. So really about Pushing yourself every day is getting this mindset into the right place, the right frame of mind to do what you need to do. Because when I first started, you know, wanting to do that like like extension machine and I couldn't, I had to go sit by the wall and do leg lifts. To me, I was so embarrassed. Has there ever been something that you wanted to do that you just didn't match up right away? Well, I appreciate that. But it didn't stop me from improving. In fact, it motivated me. It pushed me because I knew I wasn't going to be sitting against the wall for very long. So when you want to push yourself, whether it be in your career, whether it be at the gym, whether it be writing a book, start with one step. The first step is where you build the path and build that trajectory. And don't forget, planning and preparing and getting excited and that anticipation about putting something on a calendar really is a game changer. So push yourself every day, bring out your best qualities, let yourself shine. The world needs you. So glad you joined me today. Please, if you're inspired to share this video with others, please do, because then we can have more people pushing your, themselves to be the best version of themselves and really get excited about their life. Have a great day.